I moved here uh, in 2009, I believe, and I came to do a degree in zookeeper and uh, health technician. So it was just going to be about a year or two, and I was going to go back to El Salvador. So around that time, I became more aware and came came out like something that I don't think I would have been able to do in El Salvador. Uh, and then I stayed, and I decided to. Uh, do the photo program at U of H. When I was in high school, I uh, got a digital camera and I was always taking photos. In a lot of ways, like educating people a lot about queerness as well, right? Like looking at Kathy Opie's work and how she would photograph a lot of people that were like dykes or people that were transitioning to in some of the photographs. And, and that reminding me of like, when I was a young child and I would see queer people, right? Like, and recognizing that, like, I appreciate her work documenting our community as well, right? Over time, right, like, um, I understood more about, like, my gender, right? Like, and identifying as non-binary, people will, like, misgender me or, or people will, like, uh, use, like, he pronouns with me. For me, it's the first time I've seen a non-binary artist uh, be shown in a museum or in a large gallery. Looking at the at Sanel Muholi's photograph, like giant print, you can see their pores, and you can see like all the like little creases on their lips, or you can see you can even see the 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 reflection in their eyeball, right? Like the, how they use the contrast too, like to um, accentuate like the blackness. When I see that, I'm always like. Oh, what did they use or how did they print it? Looking at Nick Cave's work, right? Like he's talking more about like having to create those suits to like hide um, so people wouldn't see that he was a black man, right? Like, or a gay black man. The last body uh, of work I made is called Volver. So Volver means like going back. All the pieces in that work are related to my father. So in El Salvador, there was a civil war from 1979 to 1991. And he passed away the year after uh, in a car accident. Because I was four and so people would randomly tell me like, oh, your dad didn't die. And then like he did die in his car, but it was he was murdered, right? Like. I don't know, my family wouldn't really talk about it. And so I started doing this body of work. I found the headlights of the car and made like a sculpture and you can turn the lights on and off. There's this like constant desire of wanting to go home, but at the same time, not feeling that I can live safely or freely over there, right? Like in, in my identity. These are a lot about home. All my work is a lot about home. I was so used to living in places that have barbed wire. I don't know, whenever I see these photos, I think of all the sounds and the, how it felt. Being here like has given me the space to like grow more into myself and just like understand, even like have the language for it. I love printing in the dark room, right? Like when I'm printing, I'm just like in the zone and it's like very like brain, like muscle memory, right? Like, and you're just doing it and I know what I'm doing and just like very soothing process.